Hello guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can be able to add your phone awesome to your HTML and be able to use their icons on your website. So as you can tell, I already have my HTML file open up here. This is my HTML structure. Also, I have my CSS, which I already link to my HTML. But uh, for now, I want us to ignore the CSS file. Now, nah, let's just focus on our HTML for at the moment. So as you can see, I already I'm running a live server, so my file is open up in my browser here. So to uh, to work with phone awesome, the first thing that we need to do is uh, download it and add it into our file or in our folder where we keep our file. So I just want us to come up here and then open a new folder. And then I just want you to type in phone awesome, phone awesome CDN right for an awesome cdn there so i want you to come down here to get started with for an awesome just click there and then this should open up so i want you to scroll down just come down here to where it's written download and customize right so i want you to come here to download that's the first thing that i want you to do just click on download there and then this should open up just come to no things just download and then it should download them so you can see it's starting to download it won't take that long maybe just 10 seconds so now that it's done downloading i want you to find it on your computer so just go where you keep all your downloads i'm in my download folder there so this is the phone awesome that you just downloaded just want you to right click on it and then extract come to extract here since i want us to extract it then this is the file that you just downloaded so i want you to right click and then copy that and now just come here and then paste it in the folder where you keep your file that you are working on so this is my phone tutorial file that i mean if you look in here i mean this folder where i got all my file there so i'm just going to paste that in there so now that it's done pasting i want to you to rename this i want us to remain to rename this so right click and then click rename and then just want you to remove this and just ref with phone awesome right and then press enter so if you press enter and it's giving you this that's because you have it open uh, in your uh, text editor there right so come into your text editor and just close your text editor for now close it off and then once you cross it off and then just click on try again so that should work right for an awesome there now open up your text editor again so now i have my text editor running up again now that you're done with that i just want us to come back to our um website again to our phone awesome website and then just close off this so the second thing that i want us to do here is just come here and then copy this ring just copy that that the ring there copy it then i want you to come to your a uh, text editor and just paste it down paste it down there and then paste it there right you got your ring there now what i want you to do is come in here you know your file is just for awesome so i want you to remove this path to remove that and then just be remain with phone awesome which is the folder that is in here so keep that the same name that your folder have there as you can see this is phone awesome so it should be phone awesome there right and then just save that perfect so now i want us to go back to the website again so let's go and get some one icons to work with so I want you to place on icons there. So now that you have this icon here, I want us to search for an icon. Let's say we want to, we are searching for a social media icon. So just come to search there and then let's say we want to YouTube. Let's search for YouTube there and just press enter. And then this should open up here. So we can choose which one you want to use. So I'm going to be going with this. Just click on that. And then this should open up there. That should open up here. So I want you to come down here and just copy this. Copy this ring here. And then go on 
paste it come into your file now before we paste our icon the link there there is uh, something that I need you to know so you can paste it in there but since you are a beginner and for you not to get uh, confused with him what our advice you is to at least create a div first or something and then you paste your link inside the div so what I'm going to be doing what I would suggest you do every time is create a link and then this link let's just give it a class name whatever you want to give it let's say I'm going to be naming this link YouTube so just press enter there this is going to be ringing no way so I created a link and I gave it a class name of YouTube right so inside this link this is where i'm going to paste my icons there. just paste it there as you can see it's inside my icons there right you got that always try to create at least a link or maybe just create a a link or you can create a div so as so now i created a link and then i paste this a link to my icons in that inside that link and i gave it a class name so save that and then this time I want to open a live server to run it. So I'm going to click there and open a live server for me to line my file since I closed the other one before. So it's open up here. If you zoom in here, you see you got your YouTube icon there. Right? You got your YouTube icon there. So now that you got that, let's add a second icon and then we can style them. So what I want you to do is just come back here and then you are looking for a second icon, right? So you can come into icon and you are at icon there. Let's say you are you want your um, Instagram icon. So come into search there and then just start typing Instagram, right? And then press enter. So this should show up and then just press there and then this should show up. So gain just copy this ring here this is the link that you want so paste it and then just come down here and then create another ring let's say you want to create another ring this time you want to give it a class name of instagram remember so you create a link and then give it a class name right it's going to be a link in nowhere and then inside here i want you to paste that link so what I want you to know is don't touch this class name, don't change it. So if you change this, then you will mess up everything. So don't change it, just create your own ring and then give it your own class name there. So save that. And then if you come in here, then come into your file there. As you can see, you now got two links, which is the YouTube and then the Instagram. So if you, let's go ahead and style those and uh oh and then you will see the reason why i tell you to create a link or a div first and then give it your unique class name so i just want us to come into our css right so the first thing let's just reset everything to zero so let's set the margin to zero and then let's set some pairing to zero as well zero there and then i want us to come down here right so want us to come here and then start styling them so let's say we want to style our youtube there so we know it's inside the class name of youtube all right so we just come down there and then call it youtube all right so with this youtube let's say we want to set the color let's set it to red you got that and then let's set the font size let's set the font size let's say to 30 pixel all right if you save that and then come in here in your browser you see you got your youtube there right you got your youtube there so you can change that let's say you want to give it a background a background let's say you want to give it a background of black all right if you save that you see you can style that see it's got a background of black there so let's move on and now uh, you can say let's say you want to give it some padding just give it some padding let's say to 30 pixel and then you just let's say you want to give it some margin let's say some margin let's give it some let's say 30 pixel all right so 
come in here as you can see you got it right there or you can style that if you want to you can also remove the text and the line since they are they are it's a link so you can change the text decoration and then set it to none as you can see you are styling it there and then if you come here you see you got it right there you're styling that you got your style there so you can do the same thing to your instagram the icon there or you, you know it's in the link called instagram so you just call it come in here and then call it instagram instagram there let's say you want to set the font size let's just set it to 60 pixel and then let's say you want to give it a background a background color let's say to let's say to green right and then you want to give it a color let's say to brown right if you save that coming to here as you can see you got it right there you got your icons there if you want to see it you can change the background color you can remove the background color there and then you will see once you save come in here you see you got your icon there right so that's how you can add your style to your uh, to your icon so there are only two important things that you need to know the first thing is make sure you download their folder and then keep it in your folder or in your root folder where your file is right and then come in here and link that folder into your HTML file right that's all you need to know as long as you got it link there it everything will work just fine so and then you just go to your file or to their website and then here and then you can search for whatever icons you want to use and then just come in here and then copy this and then you just go to your file inside your body make sure you create a div or a link give it your own class name and then just paste it inside so whatever you do to this don't change this class name inside here don't change that cause that's the class name that they use in their um in their file in here and i don't delete everything that is in here since you are just a beginner i don't want you to mess up anything in here so just leave it as it is that's all you just need to know so yeah i just wanted to show you how you can link your phone awesome to your file and then be able to use their icons on your website so i hope this video was helpful if you find it helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up leave us a comment down below and now if this was your first time then please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any content that we will be posting so yeah with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out peace love and unity